Hey guys, um, to the rising interest in the EV conversion, I'm doing in the Toyota GT86. I thought I'd do a quick video um, about my progress. And as you can see, what I'm actually doing here is I'm building those uh, camper vans, which is my latest one. I'm building at the moment, I'm doing those cabins on it and restoring the cars. I just came from picking up new wheels for the car. So we go inside and have a look at the workshop and then i show you around on the car. So what you can see here is um, the GT86 on the lift. And there are half of the Nissan Leaf battery pack is in the trunk um, with the emergency shutoff switch and this, or the service switch, whatever it's called. And then um, I just picked up those orange wheels, which I thought would look pretty cool on the car because the other high voltage stuff is orange, so um, I put on the, the orange wheels and get rid of the golden wheels. Uh, also, I just put in another battery box we, we welded a few minutes ago. Um, as you can see, this is the box for the remaining six batteries, which I still have to put in the car. There's another box down here. I hope you can see it that way. It's down here. And um, so there are a few more batteries down underneath the car, which is here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you can see it. This is where the fuel tank was, actually. And all the cables are reading, uh, routing underneath the car. And back there, they're going into the trunk, which is still a lot of cables in there and have to clean it up. It's a bit messy, of course. But I get rid of that. So, um, um, more to the technical stuff of the car, this is the DC-DC converter. Um, this is my junction box where I connected cables to the leaf motor. So, um, CNC fabricated this um, aluminum plate, which I mounted all the stuff on. And there's a water pump um, connected to the original radiator of the leaf, which I kept. It's still in there. It's um, adapted to the original uh, radiator by those adapter hoses. And this one is the under pressure booster for the brake, which is controlled by a little valve, which is back here. I don't know if you can see it on the video. That's a cheap Chinese valve that's actually um, shutting off the under pressure when you um, reach a certain under pressure. It just shuts off. Um, there's the Nissan switch gear, which uh, controls the pre-charge and the positive and the negative shutoff. I already connected that. It's controlled by the leaf converter, uh, leaf inverter, with a custom board from Johannes Hübner. Um, I just uh, welded the other box with my brother-in-law. Just welded that, which looks pretty neat, I think. Um, and this box is for the switch gear. It will cover the switch gear because I can leave it like that. I don't think this will be um, approved in a technical inspection of the car that way. So I'm putting it all in boxes and I'm uh, isolating it and that stuff so nothing will happen. Um, so let's check out the interior of the car. 